right well right welcome to lesson two in this lesson we'll be looking at the types of supports so types of supports so in structural engineering there are different types of supports we are going to consider three types of supports and i believe we or we are familiar with most of them so we'll be looking at the ruler support the fixed support and then the hinge or the pin support so we'll start off with the ruler support yeah, so what is a ruler support? So in my basic definition, I'll say a ruler support is a, is a support that resists forces or reactions perpendicular to its surface, but doesn't resist forces or reactions parallel to its surface. And it's usually denoted by this symbol. So we mostly have a triangle, and then we have another line there with some circles in it. Okay. So that is when it's on the horizontal plane. Again, we can have a ruler support when it's in the vertical plane. So we'll have this triangle there. We have some circles in there. So this is the first case when it's on the horizontal plane. And then the second one is when it's in the vertical plane. So as I mentioned earlier on, so for a ruler support, it is able to resist forces in the vertical direction but not in the horizontal direction. So it's able to resist vertical reaction. So let's call this vertical reaction V, but not able to resist forces in the horizontal direction. It can't resist that. So it has only one reaction or one degree of freedom. Later on, we'll be looking at degrees of freedom. It just has one degree of freedom. And again, for the vertical, when the ruler is in the vertical plane, it will be able to resist forces perpendicular. So that is the perpendicular surface. It will be able to resist forces in the perpendicular direction. So again, let me call this a V, denoting the reaction perpendicular to the plane or its surface. If I have a simply supported beam, say this way. So that is a ruler, a left ruler support. And then we have another right ruler support okay let's call this support a and that support b now we said that so it will have a vertical reaction here v again we'll have another vertical reaction v now since the support is not able to resist horizontal reaction or forces we can say it will be a rotation at the supports so there's going to be a rotation here so let's call the rotation at A, theta A, and the rotation at B, theta B. Because it's able to tilt in the horizontal direction, we are going to have um, rotations there, so theta A and then theta B. And then again, since it's able to tilt, it can't resist moment. That is why we see simply supported beams can't resist moment. And in this case, a ruler will never be able to resist moment because it's able to tilt in the horizontal direction so we can see moment about a equals zero and then moment about b also equals zero so let me just do a quick recap of what we've discussed so far so the first fact about ruler support so it resists forces perpendicular to a surface resist forces or reactions perpendicular to the surface again it can't resist forces or reactions parallel to its surface. Again, it has rotation. So rotations are developed at the support. So has rotation. And then finally, we can say does not resist moment. So moments are not developed. So in this case, we said MA and MB equals zero. So the moments are support A and then support B are zero. So a typical real life example of a ruler support is shown here. Here, so that is you mostly find them in bridges, in bridges, the supports of bridges. So that is the ruler support here. Now let us move on to the second type of support, and that is the fixed support. So two, let us consider the fixed support. So for the fixed support, you have two reactions, and then again they are able to resist moments unlike the ruler support that are not able to resist uh, moment and has only one vertical reaction 
for the fixed support it has two reactions and a moment and again it is denoted by so you have this line here horizontal line and you have some slanted lines there so that is when it's in the horizontal plane again you can have it in the vertical plane so a typical example of it when it's in the horizontal plane is uh, so foundations right when you have a foundation we can classify the found this foundation type as a horizontal fixed support an example of one is in the vertical plane is a beam so we have another fixed support this way and then we have the slanted lines there so again as i mentioned earlier on so for a fixed support we have two reactions in a moment so we can call this v that is the vertical reaction and then again we'll have a horizontal reaction and then a moment let's call that M. Again, similarly, when it is in the horizontal direction, we can call this a vertical reaction. We can call this and then we'll have a horizontal reaction and then again a moment. Another thing we need to know about the fixed supports is it can't, there is no rotation there because it can't move. Unlike the ruler support, you know, we said it can tilt, it can tilt, so there will be rotation there. But for the fixed support, there is no rotation at its support so the quick facts about the fixed support let me just summarize them here so one has has two reactions and a moment and we called those reactions so v that is for vertical reaction h and then a moment there is no rotation developed yes yeah, so that is the fixed support that is a real life example of a fixed support there so in this case this is the fixed support as i mentioned earlier on we could have it in the horizontal plane that is the basic example of that is when we have a foundation so here we have a square pipe with the reinforced concrete um, base so that is a fixed support so we said it it has an horizontal reaction again it has a vertical reaction let's call that v and then again it has a moment so that is an example of a fixed support now let us move ahead and then consider the last type of support we'll be considering in this lesson so that is the pin support right so with this support it also has two reaction and again it doesn't have a moment so and it's usually denoted by so similar to the ruler we have this triangle and then we have another line here and we have some slanted lines in there again so this is when it is in the horizontal plane and then when it is in the vertical plane it looks this way so again we have the the slanted lines that way okay and so this has a vertical reaction let's call that v and then again a horizontal reaction similarly when it's in the vertical direction we have let's call this reaction h and then a vertical reaction let's call it v so when we consider a simply supported beam with the left support being pin or a hinge there will be rotation there there's going to be rotation at the supports so there will be rotation so if we call this support a and we call this support b there will be rotation developed as support a so let's call that t let's call that theta a or rotation at a and then this theta b right so since there's going to be rotation then it cannot resist moment so we need to be very careful about this since it cannot since it's able to tilt or there's rotation developed here then it can't resist moment so in this case m a equals zero and then m b equals zero recap what we've discussed so far so far has two reactions has two two reactions so that is the vertical and horizontal reactions vertical again we said um, rotations are developed so rotation and then finally so the third one let me try and squeeze it here so does not resist moment does not resist moment so in this case m a and m b moment about a and b equals zero and then let me just show a real life example of a pin support or a hinge support so that is a pin support or a hinge support so again we said that we said that it will have a vertical reaction we said that is a v and then again it will have a horizontal reaction and since it can 
there's going to be rotation it doesn't resist moment well guys so that brings us to the end of the types of supports and see you in the next lesson